Example number 1. Convert x squared over 4 plus y squared over 9 equals 1 to general form. We all know that this is already in standard form. And when we have the general form, lahat ng terms ay nasa isang side equation. And then the other side is 0. And we must eliminate fractions. So to solve for this, copy the given. We have x squared over 4 plus y squared over 9 equals 1. Okay, and then get the LCD of the given. So, the LCD of 4 and 9 is 36. After getting the LCD, multiply both sides of the equation, 36 and 36. Then, distribute, distribute, and distribute. Pwede natin gamitin 36 times x squared divided by 4x. Or, pwede rin 36 divided by 4 times x squared. So, gagamitin ko, divide, then multiply. 36 divided by 4 equals 9 times x squared. We have 9x squared. Okay, and then plus 36 divided by 9 equals 4 times y squared equals 4y squared. And then equals 1 times 36 equals 30. Six. And again, to make it in general form, 36, lipat natin sa kabila. So, we will have 9x squared plus 4y squared, then minus 36, then it is equal to 0. Okay, this equation now is already in general form. Example number 2. Let us convert y minus 2 squared over 25 plus quantity x minus 3 squared over 9 equals 1 to general form. So, to solve for this, again, kunin natin ang LCD. So, we have quantity y minus 2 squared over 25. Okay, and then plus quantity x minus 3 squared over 9 equals 1. And the LCD of 25. Okay, LCD of 25 and 9 is what? 220. Five. So, multiply both sides of the equation by 225. Okay, so, pwede to divide, then multiply. 225 divided by 25, that is 9. Okay, so, 9, i-multiply natin doon sa itaas, we have y minus 2 and then squared. Okay, and then plus. Tapos na tayo dito sa part na ito, ito naman. 225 divided by 9 is equal to 25 times the quantity of x minus 3 squared equals 1 times 225. It is 225. We are not yet done because we have open and close parentheses. So, kapag meron tayong ganyan, we have to use the FOIL method. The first outer inner terms. Okay, so kapag ginamitan natin ang FOIL method, we will have 9 times, okay, so expand natin ito, we will have y squared minus 4y plus 4. Okay, and then plus, dito naman tayo sa isang part, we have 25. Then expand din natin itong x minus 3 squared. We have x squared minus 6x plus 9, and then equals 225. Hindi pa tayo tapos kasi we still have open and close parentheses. And to have this, or to eliminate this, distribute, distribute, distribute. Okay, so we have 9 times y squared equals 9y squared. Okay, and then minus 9 times 4y equals 36y. Okay, and then plus 9 times 4 equals 36. Okay, so next we have plus 25 times x squared. We have 25x squared. Then 25 times negative 6x, we have negative 150x. And then plus 25 
times 9 is equal to 225 equals 225. Okay? So, kung mabalikan natin ang general form, okay, so ang first term natin dapat ay uh, variable x squared. So, in here, ilipat natin si uh, term na merong x squared. So, we have here 25 x squared. Then, followed by a term dun sa ating 9y squared. So, plus 9y squared. So, the order ng ating uh, exponents ay decreasing. So, after this, yung term naman na merong variable x. So, in here we have negative 150. So, minus 150x. Uh, following yung, value, yung variable y. So, minus uh, 36y. And the lahat ng constant terms ay pagsasamahin natin. So, we have plus 36 plus 225. And si 225, doon sa right side, ay ililipat natin doon sa kabila. So, magiging minus 225, then equals 0. Simplify further, we will have 25 x squared plus 9y squared minus 150x minus 36y then 36 plus 225 minus 225 eto mga cancel na yan and ang matitira is 36 so plus 36 then equals 0 so therefore the final answer is 25x squared plus 9y squared minus 150x minus 36y plus 36 equals 0